Hey there, this is Julian Wong from the Binary Lab and today uh, for this mindset video, actually today's mindset video is not so, going to be so much on mindset than, than on some <clears throat> aspects of trading that a lot of people are asking about. So uh, today's topic is how does the economic calendar events affect trading? Now, this is a question that I get almost all the time. One of the most popular questions that I get from my YouTube channel, uh, my Facebook page, as well as on uh, inside of the Binary Lab from members. Uh, newbies ask this all the time. So let's say when I'm looking at the news calendar, I see these various events. What what kind of sense am I supposed to make about it? How uh, how should I react to these events? So there are basically three kinds of events you want to react to, uh, and and uh, they are holidays, all right, and public holidays. That's the first one. The second one is going to be your regular uh, figure announcements, okay? Uh, indexes, figures, um, yeah, basically some sort. Of, of those, and I'll go through that in great detail in a moment. And the last one is going to be elections. Okay, so first and foremost, public holidays. Personally, I don't like trading public holidays because the liquidity is bad, the volume is low, and um, if you're trying to do trend follow trades, public holidays could actually be a, a good time to do that because when there's little things going on, um, and if there's a pre-existing trend, the trend is likely to continue for that day uh, with no with no counter. Uh, market forces trend is usually going to continue, but if the market is still, if the bond bands are very tight, and then you know it's going sideways, rest assured on that public holiday it's going to stay sideways. Okay, so once again, <clears throat> if there's a pre-existing trend, uptrend, it's probably going to go the same way up. It's a downtrend, it's going to go the same way down. The sideways going to go that way as well, and the movements are going to be very tiny. So if you, if you, are, if you are able to write a trend at all. <clears throat> then you want to take it on a higher time frame. Definitely not a, definitely not a M1 chart. Uh, you want to look at a five minutes chart or a fifteen minutes chart at least to get a good gauge of what's going to happen and what you should do. Second, all right, uh, figure announcements, uh, things like you know, um, you know, um, unemployment claims, initial jobless claims, uh, consumer index. Uh, economic sentiment index, uh, manufacturing figures, uh, uh, like productivity, GDP, year on year, all these kind of things, indexes. Uh, most of the news candidates that that are that are being on the internet, like the popular ones before, is Factory, uh, and my FX book. I personally use more of the MyFX book because there's a countdown timer and no matter where in the world I am at, uh, it actually adjusts the timer to, it actually adjusts the timer to, um, you know, local time. It gives a countdown of how close we are to the event and it gives like live updates of the figures that come out. So that's what uh, I refer to. But um, I personally only trade high impact events. Uh, if there's a high impact event, I like to trade them because uh, at this point, all those points, the binary lab trading strategies are highly effective. The binary lab short-term strategies and mid-term strategies are highly effective in pulling uh, very accurate wins on the, these these uh, high volatility breakout situations. Um, low impacts, I just treat as normal. Medium impacts, you know, I, I don't really react to it. I personally like to come onto the tr uh, to my trading terminal. 15 minutes prior to the news, in case some good, uh, some good um, trade setups can be seen, and many a time there's also a good trade setup just up to like two minutes before the actual news event, and the current binary lab system is actually able to uh, predict very accurately how the event is going to turn out. Uh, it's not absolutely important to know what the figures are going to be because uh, we have various methods in place like for example the Fibonacci uh, extensions and retracements um, and various uh, movement averaging uh, methods to determine uh, what kind of trade you should be taking inside of the binary lab trading sessions. Okay, um, <clears throat> And then finally for uh, elections. Elections is one very tricky business uh, I would actually in extend this. This I, w I wouldn't say it's just event uh, elections. I'll say it's political stuff. 
So what kind of stuff constitute as political, like uh, minister elections, um, interest rate, uh, no, it's, it's not an interest rate. Interest rate decisions uh, come into the previous category of news releases, but the other thing that would be here would be, like, let's say, you know, if uh, Eurozone, Eurozone uh, general election or gen Eurozone meeting, uh, is a certain country going to be added or withdrawn from the Euro group? Okay, because that is going to create a lot of speculation, and sometimes that speculation can be long drawn as well. Uh, when, like, as you know, uh, merchants are all over the place, and and people who are selling uh, the prospects of doing business in a certain country, or doing trades or bilateral trades in a certain country, you know, that's when they start to say, hey, we're currently in the midst of this, of this, uh, you know, uh, eurozone uh, discussion, this ASEAN in, uh, discussion, or this whatever UN discussion, uh, and and you know, if this if this country becomes part of this group. You know, these are the prospects that we can look at. Or let's say, you know, uh, doing business in this country is great. And when they come through this event with this result, you know, this is what you can expect. And then, you know, based on these, they're creating very uh, big time and also long term, steady, very gradual um, shift in the, uh, in the Forex marketplace. And that's why sometimes when the election is in place, when these kind of uh, high political importance uh, uh, events are around, you can see like very long lazy trends uh, up or down. And during those, like the week that just passed, right? The week that just passed, we could not trade uh, as much one minute time frame as we usually do because the trends were very strong. We had to go up to like M5, M15, M30, in some cases even the H1 to take trades. The same methods work but different time frame. Alright, so uh, I know today's content sounds a little bit dense and I wish I could help you understand it more inside of uh, the Binary Lab Trading Group that I run. Uh, if you're not already part of the Binary Lab Trading Group, we basically run live trading sessions basically like every day as long as there's no public holiday or or some event that I don't I don't wish to coincide with, um, you know it the 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 the, the trading session times are, are published inside of that Facebook group, and uh, to apply to join this group, simply go to the URL down below, www.thebinarylab.net, fill out the application form, and uh, you know my assistants will be in touch with you. Have a good week ahead. Enjoy your weekend, and if you find this video of value, and uh, once again, recap the, the three kind of events we talked about today would be the, pub, the, the, the public holidays, uh, the, 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 the economic figure releases, as well as the political events. These are the, these are the three kind of uh, events that you want to, the three kind of categories of events that uh, on the economic calendar you will see. And I've explained to you how they will affect your, uh, your trading, especially binary options trading. So um, share this if you find it useful. Do like the channel and subscribe so that you get updates whenever I post my new videos. Bye for now.